Hello everyone, we're here with Corey Brandon Putman, the lead singer of the almighty Norma Jean from Georgia, USA. Hey dude, how are you? Doing really good, man. Cool, man. Really good. Um, I've been a huge, uh, huge fan of Norma Jean since I was about 12, 13 years old. Uh, I'm now 25. Uh, they've inspired me both musically and personally, so it's a great opportunity to bring these two worlds together in hopes to inspire more people about sharks. With the recent yeah. shark... Yeah, yeah, man. So with the recent shark-related videos, merchandise and stuff, I wanted to interview you about your love for sharks and about the importance of shark conservation. Well, um, to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about shark conservation. Okay. But um, we, we're all just fans of uh, sharks in general. We, we have a lot of uh, these sharks in our videos and... Uh, merchandise. It's just kind of a, an obsession, I guess you could say. Yeah, man. Uh, that and, and dinosaurs. Uh, oh, cool, yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> great uh, animals that uh, live on our planet. They're, you know, they're beasts in a way. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's just, it's, but they're amazing. They're amazing. They do, they do amazing things. They live um, amazing lives. So it's just uh, such an interesting animal. Yeah, cool. Man. So, what, you were talking about um, your videos and stuff uh, before your latest album came out. Uh, you were like, you guys released that short little video, um, like with the R shark by R line. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> which is like, you know, it's got a bunch of people haven't seen it. It's got a bunch of different uh, shark footage and stuff. So, I just wanted to ask, what's your favourite species of shark if you have one, and why? Um, favourite species. Well, I mean, everybody loves the great white. Yeah. Um, that's that's the like probably the most popular kid in school. <laughs> I guess in the shark world. <laughs> but um, uh, I don't I don't really you know I have a real favorite I guess. Cool. Um, I, yeah, I think I think all sharks are pretty pretty awesome. Pretty yeah, awesome. Man, all, all unique in their own way and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then what, once you guys released your latest masterpiece, Wrongdoers, uh, you released a music video for Sword in Mouth, Fire Eyes, which is an in incredible tune, and, uh, and that has a shark in it too. So if it's okay yeah, to... It <laughs> yeah, really, like a shark dressed up in like a business, business suit and stuff. Um, so I just wanted to know the story behind the song, like the lyrics, and then also the story behind the video. Well, the song um, and the video are really... Are they don't really coincide to me or the band. Uh, we really just let um, Eli Berg, who directed the video and wrote the, the, you know, the treatment for it, cool. interpret it however he wanted. But we also wanted it to be interesting, different, kind of weird, and you know, kind of funny. So that's really what he came up with. And um, the, uh, of course, he knows that we love sharks, and and uh, he wanted to. You know, do something that we would appreciate, and of course, as soon as we saw it, we we dove right in. We loved it. The song really is based on a C.S. Lewis quote, which is, um, "If you're heading down the wrong path, first person to turn around and head the other way is the most prejudiced." Whoa. And um, but the song, I guess, uh, you know, is about a, a shark that sees this guy. I don't know. He just uh, wants to ruin him. <laughs> or something. He, he gets out of the water and follows him to work. And, yeah. Um, ultimately, uh, he uh, ends up following him home. But I won't. I won't give away the ending. Yeah, man. Exactly. People need to see that. Um, so, and I, I'm sure that your your band has loads of fans who who might not know too much about sharks and the dangers they face every day. Um, if you if you had one, what message would you have to say to people about why sharks are globally important and why you think they need protection? I think, um, you know, uh, as humans um, and, and our place in, you know, the scale of, of uh, you know, the, whether it's a food chain or just nature in general, that we have a mental, you know, overshadowing of the planet, really. Yeah. Um, that's something that we just all have to come to terms with. And, and, and because of that, I think we have a huge responsibility for maintaining um, on where we live. This is our home. Definitely. And, you know, I think, you know, with all the problems we have on the planet, um, in, in the grand scale of things, we're all, uh, grand scale of things, we're all in the same boat. Um, we're all standing on the same ground. 
Exactly. Um, and, um, in that sense, there's no difference between anyone in the world. And I think it's really important for us to maintain our, our, you know, ecosystem and, um, animal life and all those things are really important. I think, I think really it's just kind of common sense. Yeah, definitely. You know, I don't think, I don't think it has to be a political issue or anything like that. No. I think it's just common sense uh, that we should take care of, you know, um, especially if an animal is endangered, we should definitely, you know, move it to the front of the line to make sure that, that they're taken care of. Exactly. And, and le- for me, it's one of one of the big things is learning to, you know, learning to share the planet rather than humans taking over the planet, kind of thing. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, when when did you first realise you had a passion for sharks? Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe when I was a kid. Um, I think that's when every everyone's you know starts to love animals yeah. or whatever it is. Uh, but you know, sharks being the coolest one of the coolest animals on the planet. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty easy to, to do that. You know, like, you, you, your mom goes to buy you new school clothes and comes home with a bunch of shark stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, uh, yeah, she picked out the right stuff. Yep. <laughs> you know, so I don't know. Yeah, for sure. Uh, probably when I was a kid. Cool, man. Yeah, same, same here. Um, so obviously, as we've spoken about already, there's there's a huge global misunderstanding of sharks, and they're often labelled as things like bloodthirsty human killers and intrusive uh, attackers and things like that, which in truth is completely wrong. Uh, when it comes to sharks and humans sharing the water, who are the wrongdoers, and how would you describe sharks? Hmm. Um, you know, I think uh, again, like uh, I think that. Um, anywhere on the planet, you know, the sharks should have their place. You know, it's kind of like I always say, it's kind of like if, if you go into their home, you should respect it. Exactly. Um, you know, and, and that's, that is where they live, and, and we should all res- show some respect for for where they have to live. You know, that's they can't, they can't, you know, jump over into another ocean or, you know, um, come on land and, and live with us. They can't do that. They have no, to exactly. <laughs> Definitely, and, and when exactly when you talk about space and and um, you know the oceans being undiscovered, like you, f- for me, I, I see some documentaries and stuff, and I, I see some animals, and uh, and that they are alien. Which obviously people th- think about space with aliens, but there, there's still so much we don't know about the oceans, which is you know on the same planet as us. Definitely, yeah. definitely, it's, it's amazing, amazing. Yeah. Have you ever seen a shark in the wild yourself? And if you have, uh, what what was the experience like for you? Um, I was really far away, but yeah, I have. Um, they uh, kind of came up. You kind of saw the fin a little bit. Um, it wasn't anything like Jaws or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Like people see that, they think the fin, you know. Yeah. Thing. Um, it's not really, you know, a thing that, I, I don't know, I've never seen that anyway, but kinda, you can kind of see them a little bit and, we're pretty far away, but um, um, the people, the locals, knew that's what that was. They'd seen them a lot, so it was pretty cool. I mean, um, definitely never swam with them or been in you know, one of those cages or whatever. Oh, okay, yeah. But I think that would be a blast. I would love to do that. Well, I'm glad you said that because ne- next time you're in Florida, like, please get in contact with us, and we'd we'd love to, you know, take you out and. Like you know, whether it's cage diving or whether it's just on the boat and looking at sharks, we'd we'd love to do that. Oh my gosh, we are definitely going to take you up on that. Bring a little GoPro or whatever and do some filming too. That'd be fun. Perfect. Yep. Um, so then back back into like the musical side of things a bit more. Um, music obviously inspires people and in a lot of cases changes people's outlook on life too. 
Uh, do you hope that your fans and other people will want to learn more about sharks and go see them in the wild through your passion for sharks? I hope so. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't you know, really call that like a mission statement or anything. No, of course. It is a, that, that is something that we love and um, such an amazing creature. Like, if you, think, if you think about like we were transported to, you know, another planet and you saw something like a shark, you know, like if you'd never seen a shark before, didn't know, didn't know it existed, yeah. it would blow your mind. Any, <laughs> any kind of sea life really would, honestly, but... Um, yeah, I hope so. I, I think, um, I think uh, you know, it's something that people, the, the common sense thing, I think, is the, is the best thing, yeah. you know, to push that idea that it's common sense to, you know, want to take care of our environment. Yeah, take definitely. Take care of um, animals that, that um, are poached. Even, yeah. um, you know, even hunters will, will you know, we have laws for those kind of things, and, and most hunters and you know deer hunters, for instance, will respect that the the rules and the behind you know conserving. Animals. Yeah, exactly. So, and I, you know, I think the same goes for for especially for sharks because they're way cooler than deer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like you say, just it's just about um, like you say, common sense, uh, respect, and understanding, really. Yeah, as living beings on the planet, whatever you believe, I um, think, you know, that it's something that we should show. It's just easy to me to, to, to know that. Mm. But um, I can't imagine what it would be like if, if they were all gone, you know, and that would be, uh, I won't live in that world. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, who, who, not, uh, not many people would want to live in a world like that, hopefully, so. Um, well, a boring world. Yeah, exactly. Boring world and, so, no and obviously... Week. Pardon? No shark week. Yep. That would be terrible. Yeah, exactly. There'd be no programs. There'd just be a week of silence. <laughs> <laughs> a week of silence. That's what should happen. <laughs> yeah. What, one more question. Um, if, if, it's not too, if it's not too much to ask, could you, could you scream uh, Shark and International? <laughs> what that, is it? Uh, shark Aid International? Sure. Amazing. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Shark International! Yes! <laughs> yeah, that's so good. <laughs> um, okay, cool, man. Thank you. That, that's the interview. Uh, thank you so much for your time. It's been an absolute honor and pleasure talking to you. And can't wait to see yeah, you guys. Can't wait to see you guys when you come to Florida. Definitely. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thank you for for having me, appreciate it. No, thanks very much, and um, we'll, we'll talk soon, definitely, we'll be in touch. Sounds good. Thanks, man, thanks so much, Corey. All right, take it easy. Cheers, dude, take care, have a good day.